Man, usually I'm always happy. I hate to start the video off on a sad note. Today's video, I'm gonna confess. To all the pendulum lovers out there, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dragon Link is just too damn good. Dragon Link is, it can put up literally two and a half negates. That is so good. Way better than pendulum boards. And, and Inferno Bolt. Inferno Bolt could put up one or one and a half negates. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, don't, don't get me started on Invoke Dragma. They could actually put up Makaba uh, every now and then. So what I'm trying to say here is that Pendulum is not the best deck right now because Pendulum is the best deck of all time, baby! And best deck! Let's go! That's the meta! Trash ass meta! And best deck out of my face! So today's video, I'm not giving up on Pendulums. Why would I give up on the best deck? Today's video, I'm going to show the entire Pendulum community three reasons why Pendulum is the best deck in the world. I'm going to clear this entire board. I'm going to play this hand against an Act Blossom and a Veiler. And if you also think it's the best deck, let me know in the comments down below. What is the best deck? What's the best deck? I couldn't think. Let me know the best deck down in the comments below. For those watching right now, I recommend staying until the end of the video because I will be posting as well my updated best pendulum deck of the format. I'm super hyped to show you guys this video. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. If you're part of this like 40% that is not even subscribed to the pen god, bro, what? Smash the subscribe button, boys. Because at 40,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be releasing a new series where I challenge every single Yu-Gi-Oh! World Champion in history and absolutely destroy them with the best deck. And if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button and let's go, baby! It's pencil time! <laughs> Looks like I gotta buy, buy a new table now. But that's okay because uh, if you just buy a beautiful Trip Gaming Playmat on tripgaming.com, uh, all proceeds go towards buying a new table. Let's go. Exhibit A Why Pendulum is the best deck. This is an impermanence, by the way. I'm gonna clear this entire board. He has a Dragoona Savage, a Masquerina, Kokumeru, Impermanence, Masquerina. How am I gonna clear six negates with a dead Metal Pulse Fusion in my hand? If this doesn't show a pen best deck, I don't know what will. Pen best deck. Welcome to Exhibit A. Let's go. So, what happens? Abductor, Mastery. Of course he's going to negate Mastery, because his whole deck has 10,000 cards you must negate or auto-lose. So we're going to lure it here. He's actually stream sniping. I'm playing this match on stream. So not only am I going to destroy him, I'm actually going to destroy him while he stream snipes. So he figures out, okay, i got to get rid of that allure, because this guy's hand's trash. Next thing we do. He goes Appaloosa right off the bat um, because he has no card in hand for Unicorn. I'm like, sure. Souls, he uses Appaloosa effect. I'm like, sure. Normal summon Souls. Said Fusion. Imperm so I don't draw. No problem. Fusion. Put back in deck. At this point, Upstart, Desires, any spell card, and we literally abduct our search mastery win. We search spell power mastery, any scoops. Remember that board right here? Five negate board. Absolutely destroyed it. This is the game state before he resigned. I set it up myself because... I like you guys like that. So he's gonna end up with uh, this is his situation. He still has Appaloos and Kokumero. You might be wondering why did this guy scoop, right? Okay, well, after a mastery, searches Mighty Master. I have two my masteries engraved because he negated one. Abductor is gonna have four counters on the card. So I'm gonna activate Abductor to search another Mighty Master. I'm gonna enter battle. I'm gonna pendulum summon two cards, enter battle phase. I'm gonna kill the Kokumero, kill the, uh, the Appaloosa, putting him at 4,700 life points. My next play here, I'm gonna go into Crowley just for free. I'm gonna keep this card just for, for free. Link into Selene. Selene, special Mighty Master. Mighty Master attempt to destroy Dragoon. It doesn't die because it can't be destroyed by card effects. No problem. I go into Absol uh, Summon uh, Jackal. Go into, uh, go into Cross Sheep. Uh, Absolute Cross Sheep Combo Vortex. At this point, you're thinking, Triff, how the shit are you dealing with the Dragoon? How are you dealing with the Dragoon? Have you forgotten that pen best deck? I want you guys to remember the premise of this entire video. Why Pendulum is the best deck. So, you're going to go into Crush, uh, Relinquish Anima with the Magician Souls. I wonder if anyone sees this play coming. Anima and Cross Sheep. Link into Ningirsu. Get the hell out of my face, Dragoon. You are trash. You have a Jackal and a Vortex versus the opponent that has zero cards left. You just destroyed a 5 negate board. Enter Battle Phase. Win. Exhibit A, pen best deck. Let's not go to Exhibit B. Exhibit B, why Pendulum is the best deck. So, over here, this is just an average hand we drew. I'm going to play this hand against an Act Blossom 
and a Veiler, okay? You guys say Pen cannot play through hand traps. It is not Pendulum that can't play hand traps. It's just you who sucks. All right, we're going to play here like hand traps are nothing. Souls, Jackal, Restage. Okay, I'm going to send two cards there. So I use Souls to send Stage and Allure. He Veilers the Souls there. Uh, the make-believe player. So why- Of course you're gonna Veiler something that says draw two. So he just Veilered my Pot of Desires, essentially. Because Magician Souls was drawing two, right? Next, I'm gonna go into Crowley. Do you notice how we did not summon Spellbook of Secrets here? Did you notice how we did not activate the Spellbook of Secrets? It's because clearly if he has another Veiler Imperm, he's gonna Veiler the Crowley. Here he's gonna Ash the Crowley 1000% because I, he- Why would he want me to have a free monster for Selene? I would just normal Blue Boy, normal Blue Boy get Secrets, Lake Blue Boy and this Crowley into Selene. Selene special Crowley. Nice Ash Blossom. It's dead forever. So he's Ash here or Ash is dead. Next, you save that secrets. This is why the difference of us is that you do, uh, people that don't say Pendulum on the best deck just because you don't know how to play it. Tactic Talent is draw two more cards. Uh, scale, Abductor to Search of Mastery. Ash Blossom's dead. You could clearly do this. I, mean, I only pen summon one monster. And we're literally going to end on six negates here through Ash and Valor. So... Like I said, pen best deck, uh, exhibit B, uh, example B, why pendulum best deck. Now let's go to example three, why pendulum is the best deck. Now as for reason number three, why pendulum is the best deck, uh, cause I said so baby, pen best deck, let's go, let's go, that's how the world works baby, pen best deck, cause I said so, cause I said so, this is the updated deck list, cause it's the best deck, let's go. We got triple Dr. Servant, obviously. We did make a few changes to the list. As you guys saw there, how I absolutely destroyed the situation where two hand traps arose. Triple Tactic Talents really does help you play through hand traps like nothing. And at the same time, helps you destroy this meta, which is a Dragoon meta. And if you're not playing Dragoon, you're playing like a, Sav a Boral Savage Needle Piper deck, right? So Tactic Talents always comes up. And it's just another card that your opponent must negate. I dropped Jester Confit to two. Took out Instant Fusion to make space for the Ningirsu. And this is the updated Pendulum deck profile. I, in my honest opinion, this is the best way to play Pendulums moving forward. I think this is... And Pure Endymion is better after lots of testing. I think it is better than Pendulum Magicians. I think it's infinitely better than Kali Yuga. It's way better than any Rusty Bardish deck. And if you guys want me to conduct a Locals vlog of Pure Endymion versus Pendulum Magician versus Kaliuga Turbo, let me know. I have this cool idea where I duel against 10 different people uh, with different versions of Pendulums to figure out which version of Pendulum is the best. So that's it for this. As for the side deck as well, you guys see a lot of hate towards the Dragon Link decks and the Infernoble decks. They really are overrated, to be honest with you. They all lose to one Lava Golem, one Sphere Mode, one Mystic Mind. They all lose to these decks, which is why I'm telling you, Pendulum best deck. If you Lava Golem or Sphere Mode, a Pendulum player, you still got to deal against three extra negates, which you are not dealing with. If you try to Mystic Mind a Pendulum player, they're going to Mighty Master your whole board into Oblivion, as well as that same Mystic Mind. Pendulum best deck. I try to say this many times. With the addition of all the cards that must be negated and the Lava Sphere Mode, you literally cannot lose against the, the top decks in Dragon Link as well. Extra deck, all the changes we did was we took out the Millennium Miser Strike for the Ningirsu. Yes, Instant Fusion is a great card, but your extra deck is way too important. Literally, no, none of the Link 2s are touched. You cannot touch any of the Link 2s. They are all absolutely mandatory. Unicorn with the Masquerina is mandatory. Even Unicorn as its own. You just need one Nightmare card. It's mandatory. I try to throw in Cerberus. There's no space. Three Selene mandatory. Apple is 100,000% mandatory. Access code mandatory. Sayuja, I'm telling you guys, if you're not playing Sayuja now, it is absolutely 100% definitely, positively, jokingly, not jokingly, guaranteedly, absolutely necessary. You need this in your deck. Every card in the extra deck is required. As for the one Archfiend Eccentric in there, uh, Doctor can search Archfiend Eccentric. So uh, you get another out to Mystic Mind decks. And on top of that, uh, it's just another out for all these back row decks. So I do recommend playing... Uh, Archfiend is one Archfiend eccentric because it is searchable via Magical Abductor against any random back row deck. And that's it for the side, main, and extra. Uh, big fan of this list. I think it's extremely powerful. Uh, at the moment, there's nothing I would change. This is the best way to play the deck. And uh, just also remember that if you don't hard draw Soul Secrets, Blue Boy, or Jester, and if you hard draw an Abductor and you hard draw Restage, ensure to normal summon the Abductor versus scaling the Abductor because a lot of you guys that have issues with Restage just don't know how to get access to your souls properly. 
So if you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Uh, these are three reasons why Pendulum is the best deck. Uh, we just have to bait in the idiots that don't think Pendulum is the best deck via the title. If you guys want to support the channel, don't forget to get the beautiful Trip Gaming playmats in the description down below on TripGaming.com. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and sign up for the Pendulum training down below to become a, pe become a pen god yourself. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Pin best deck. Why? No, 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 no.